So a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture in this series on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we have talked about non-coherent detection and we have talked about index modulation. In this lecture, we will quickly discuss another technique for we will discuss another technique for non coherent we will discuss another technique for non coherent detection this is differential phase shift keying. So, in differential phase shift keying what we do is we consider as an example binary shell PSK and in this example further let us consider a sequence of bits that needs to be transmitted. Say we transmit zero one one zero zero one 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 zero say we want to transmit uh, this sequence now the question is that uh, how do we transmit this bpsk simply so what we'll do is we'll simply transmit a means corresponding to the voltage, we will simply transmit minus A, 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 minus A, minus A, 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 A and finally minus A, these. In case of BPSK, we will transmit these, but in case of differential PSK, what we will do is the first symbol that we transmit will always be A will always transmit A and then so in DPSK the first symbol that we transmit will always be fixed and then the next symbol will be the same if the bit to be transmitted is 0 or it will change if the bit to be transmitted is 1. That is in simpler words, we introduce a phase transition. So, whenever the bit to be transmitted is 1. So, whenever the bit to be transmitted is 1, we introduce a phase transition and whenever the bit to be transmitted is 0, we do not introduce a phase transition. So, in this case, for example, the example that we considered 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, this thing map to first is always A, we will require one more symbol than the, the first symbol will be fixed that will be A, that is true and we will require one more symbol as compared to the total uh, or as compared to the number of bits that we are transmitting. 
then since the first symbol is 0, I transmit A again, then the symbol is 1, so I transmit minus A, minus A again, oh, sorry A because uh, there is a 1, so there is a phase transition, so there are two zeros, no phase transition, A, A and then since there are 1s, so 1, 3 phase transitions, minus A, A, minus A and finally minus A because there was not a phase transition, fine. So, that said, let us see how do we decode this. So, now the question becomes that uh, how do we decode DPSK? So, to answer that, how do we decode DPSK? Let us answer that question quickly. So, the first symbol that we see will be fixed, say S0. So, Y0 equals S0 plus W0, Y1 equals S1 plus W1. Now, S1 equals J pi S0 if the symbol is 1 equals S0 if the symbol is 0 then or I can say that S1 equals J theta 1 S0. I can say that uh, S1 equals J theta minus S0 which is fine. So, in general Sn is n S1 this so equals J theta 1 S0 plus So, with y1, we want to detect theta1 or given y0 and y1, we want to obtain an estimate of theta 1, right. Given y 0 and y 1, we want to obtain an estimate of theta 1. So, this is, I will modify this further. Since uh, these y 0 and y 1 account for this phi as well. So, if I say that phi 0, phi 1 conjugate or phi 1, phi 1 equals mod square s 0 times plus conjugate times sorry j theta 1 plus phi 
and plus W1 times J5 is 0. This R, since we know S0, R saying that S0 equals 1. You can say that we start with S0 equals 1. We normalize the energy. You can always say that S0 is 1. So, normalizing the energy, so it is uh, mod square will also be 1. Y0 conjugate taking S0 equal to 1 or dividing by S0. You can do both. For simplicity, I have taken S0 equal to 1 or I have normalized it to unit energy. I can always do that. So, in this case, we can normalize uh, the signal to unit energy and uh, in change the noise variance. That is also always doable. So, Y0 you get Y1 equals. So, we wish this part away J theta 1 plus W 0 J plus 5 plus W 1 J 5 this beast fine. And if each symbol has a noise variance of n naught, then naturally we are left with a noise variance of 2 n naught. So, we are left with, so this normalization leaves us with noise variance of 2 n naught or let me take the more general case, S0 equals root over E s and root over E s. So, this is E s and divided by root over E s this will keep. So, this doubles the noise variance. So, y0, y1 conjugate equals Es theta i plus w tilde 1, where w tilde 1 is basically this thing, this I call as W tilde 1. So, W tilde 1. So, this is mean 0 and 2 n naught. Now, all we have to do is, so S 0, S 1, 0 conjugate S 1 equals 0. Now, instead of S0 or S1 being an individual symbol, S0, S1 conjugate upon root E s. So, this now forms the constellation having symbols root over E s and minus root over E this forms the constellation root over Es or minus root over Es and we can use the minimum distance criterion to try and get these symbols. But at the same time, so the process after this is the same as earlier, but uh, the problem here is that you see or the problem that we observe over here is that uh, now this reduces to the simple BPSK detection problem in the presence of noise, which is fairly straightforward, but all this non coherence business has introduced one problem the noise variance. has now effectively doubled. So, in trying to detect that uh, signal non-coherently and I uh, will write this formally, in trying to detect the signal non and trying to 
map the constellation to a non coherent relation. We have essentially introduced in doing that we have introduced additional noise and effectively doubled the noise variance. We have effectively doubled the noise variance and the effective constellation now will work at uh, double the noise variance. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do anything about it. So, now let us try to simulate this in MATLAB and uh, look at uh, the simulation example simultaneously. So, uh, you have example 5, we save this as and we say we rename it to DPSK, DPSK example. So, the channel gains are there random channel gains and now the constellation I will reduce it to this. So, these are the symbols 1s and minus 1s. So, whenever I am transmitting a 1, I uh, transmit the same symbol, I will change the rules slightly. So, here for this example I am because I am already having 1s and minus 1s. So, I will change the rules slightly and whenever I am wanting to transmit a 1, I will transmit the same symbol as previously and whenever I want to transmit a minus 1, I transmit the previous symbol. So, say I will call this x or let me call this s0, then I construct s1 this. So, I have constructed as this. Now, for C1 equals 2 and plus 1, S C1 equals S0, C1 minus 1 times S1 So, this will construct the constellation. Let me run this part and so I will run clear all and let us say I demonstrate this for n equals 100. I will demonstrate this for n equals 100. So, this and so I am demonstrating this for n equals 100. Fine. So, let us quickly run this save and F9. So, MATLAB uses different brackets. This and let us run this and done. So, S0 is a random sequence. Now, let me view S0 and S1 in concatenation or let us say I will view S here. This is there. So, S is 1 and whenever there is a 1, 1 is sent. So, the first twos are 1s, those are the first three entries are 1 which is the same. Then you see a minus 1, minus 1 then the next is 1, so the sign does not change, minus 1, then a minus 1, so the sign changes 1, sequence of minus 1, so the signs change accordingly. So, naturally we have constructed a constellation with memory or we have constructed a DPSK like uh, constellation. Now, the next thing is that uh, we want to detect these. So, passes through the channel and uh, now let me change the detection algorithm. So, the detection algorithm will be two steps. The first step would be say y0 would be c1 times conjugate of 
by this and everything all the noises I need to increase by 1, increase by 1. So, this y 0 because the signal is already normalized at 1. So, we do not need to do anything special. So, y 0 is this, this and so this has to be 2 set 1 I will force to 1. Set 1 I will force to 1 that can be done and this for 2 to length y and we will repeat this and hold on I will move lower. Fine. Now, if I run this if there are not any errors so we have errors. So, yes because uh, the size of g was not long enough. So, one plus 1 one, of one additional symbol. So, let us run this and see what happens. This is bad, this is bad mainly because we have not kept the channel constant. So, I will have to use another trick here, say length 100 symbols that will be over g. So, actually let us stop this video right here and I uh, will correct the code and we will discuss DPSK in the next class in detail. Thank you.